guys. My name is Karis. And today I'm going to read you a story called Broom on the Broom. And this book is by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. And it's one of my favourite books. Right, I'm going to share the screen with you now. Are we ready? There's lots of listening to do in this story. Lots of sounds for you to listen out for, okay? Right. okay. In this story, we need to do lots of signing, okay? So I'm just gonna go through some of them with you. Okay, so this first page is the characters from the book. Okay, and the main character is a witch. So we're going up like the witch's hat. Okay, up and then down with our finger. We try that again, ready? Witch. Okay, the next one is the cat. Okay, so we need two fingers on each hand. Ready, we're gonna go up, cat. And again, cat. Well done. And the next one is dog. Are you ready? So two fingers again, but they're together. And we're going down. Ready? Dog. Okay, your turn. Dog. Well done. Okay, the next one is a frog. Okay, so we need to have our fist and direction. Ready? And what we're going to do, we're going to stick out two of our fingers, okay, and flick them off our thumb. You ready? Frog. Frog. Can you have a go? Frog. Well done. Okay. The next sign is bird. Okay. So we need to do like a little beak. You ready? So we're going to make a little beak. Bird. Bird. Can you have a go? Ready, third. And the mean character in this story is the dragon. We ready? So we're gonna put our hands together in front of our face like this, okay? And as we bring our hands forward, we're gonna flicker our fingers like it's the fire coming out the dragon's mouth, you ready? So we're going forward and flickering our fingers. Ready, dragon, dragon. Your turn, ready, dragon. Well done guys, it was really good. Okay, there's a couple of other little signs that we might use throughout the story, okay? So the first one is broomstick. So we're gonna do a light little claw march like this and we're gonna go out, ready? Broomstick or broom, okay? Broomstick. Okay, and the witch likes to fly on her broomstick. Okay, so we're gonna put our hand out like we do for horse. Okay, and stick our two fingers off and fly. Okay, but if she's gonna go whoosh off on her broom, ready, we're gonna go fly, fly. Okay, now the witch has to look for a lot of things in this story. Okay, so she needs to go and find them okay find and she says yes to a lot of characters so they come on over room so we need to know the sign for yes ready so we put our fist up and we're gonna bend it forwards once ready yes yes your turn yes well done Okay, they have to fly down to the ground to look for these things, okay? So we need to know the sign for down. Ready? I'm gonna point down with our finger, look. Can you see my finger pointing down? Ready? Down. Down. Well then, your turn. Down. Okay, and the witch needs a bit of help at the end of the story because she's um, told off by the dragon and wants going his insides ready. We're going to go onto our hand, 
and bring it towards us. Help. And again, help. Your turn, ready? Help. And the bird and the dragon both have wings. We do wings. Well done. And the bird is a bit of a funny colour for a bird. He is green. Green. And the witch has to hold on tightly to her hat. So ready? Hat. So we're pulling on a hat. Okay. And the dragon makes a raw noise, okay? So noise, raw. And the witch says thank you to her friends at the end for saving her from the dragon. You ready? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Put my hat back on now. So I'm gonna be the witch. So the witch. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair that she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and I'm purring. And how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick. Through the wind. How the witch wails. How the cat spat. The wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Let's have a go at our signs. Ready for this page? Witch. Witch. Cat. Cat. Hat. Hat. Well done. Ready? Down! cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. Searched for the hat. But no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, they found it a dog. <coughs> With the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch put the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on a broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch. And the dog clambered on. My dog. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh! They were gone. Over the fields and forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail. And the stormy wind. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. <gasps> and away flew the bow and a long ginger plait. Remember, bow around and down, around and down. cried the witch. They flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree 
with an ear split and shriek. A flat, a green bird. With a bow in her beak. She bent her head low, then fed as the witch tied her hair in a bow. I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on a broom for a bird like me? I what the witch will say. Yes! cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers, oh, the bird shrieked for glee, and the stormy winds blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow. <gasps> they let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, Leapt a dripping wet frog. With a dripping wet wand, he dropped it politely, then said with a croak. <coughs> Which dried the wand, rolled in a cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on a broom for a frog? Like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh! They were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. And Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's hearth broomstick flew into a cloud. The witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I'm a dragon. As mean as can be, and I'm planning on having witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch. Lying down to the ground, looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer, licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he began to begin on his feast, out from the ditch, rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky. It was feathered and furred. It had four rightful heads. It had wings like a bird. Its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a rope. And 
squelched as it rose from the ditch. Said to the dragon, Bezos, that's my witch. The dragon drew black and started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I've made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. He spread out his wings, it's off through the sky. Down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat, and you said the dog. And thank you. Oh, thank you, the grateful witch crowd. Without you, I'd be in my dragon's inside. Ah, oh, look how happy they are. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. Frog. What did he find? The frog found a lily. The cat, he found a comb. The bird. And a twig. And the dog, he found a bone. Ready, let's throw them all in. The lily, in it goes. The pine cone, in it goes. A twig. The bone goes. Put my spoon. Threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. While she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and Woo! they were gone. Thank you for listening, guys. I hope you like the story. I wonder who your favorite character is. Mine is the dopey dog. I wonder what yours might be. Could be the scary dragon or the kind witch. <laughs> okay, thank you for listening and I hope to see you all soon.